During high school, doing a trade is something that I was always interested in. I always wanted to become an electrician. I looked for a job uh, as an electrician. This came up, uh, advertised with AIGTS at Coca-Cola. They wanted a dual trade apprentice out of it. They didn't just want an electrician or a mechanical fitter. They wanted someone to take on both. Uh, it wasn't something that I was out looking for, but it was something that came as part of the job. Looking back now, I'm glad that I did take on the two. It wasn't just a matter of walking in off the street and saying, I'm here for an apprenticeship. The, the process of applying for the job to getting the job was quite a rigorous one. Each day is different coming to work. Uh, can be doing machine preventative maintenance, uh, keeping the site running, building new machines, new concepts, meetings. It varies, every day is different. Here at Coca-Cola Amateur Bayswater, we do all of Coca-Cola's non-carbonated products, so anything from their fruit juices to Powerade and water. Uh, my job as part of the reliability team here is to keep the site running and make it efficient and prevent breakdowns. The best part about being a dual trade apprentice is the fact that I'm not just tied up as an electrician or a mechanical engineer. And one day I can be out working on a PLC, uh, pulling in cables, fitting off a switchboard, and the same day I can be working on a lathe or machining or on a mill. A lot of the plant here at Bayswater is all controlled by a PLC. So my work doesn't just involve walking around with a screwdriver and pliers. A lot of it work is worked off a laptop. Doing a dual trade apprenticeship has really opened my eyes as to how things work. I don't just look at it from an electrical point of view or just a mechanical point of view. I see it from both sides. Communication is a big part of being an apprentice as well. In my job, I've got to deal with operators, supervisors, my colleagues in, in the maintenance team. I've got a pretty good relationship with my field officer, Craig Hilton. Uh, he's only ever a phone call away if I need him, but he's always out on a regular basis to touch base with myself and my supervisors here at Coca-Cola, just to make sure everything's going okay. And Craig's been a big help with getting all my apprenticeship schoolwork organised. AIGTS have been there through my whole apprenticeship with lots of support. Um, they've really rewarded my commitment by sending me on the Today Skills Tomorrow's Leaders program, which I attended in Canberra. Uh, that was a great course and I've gained a lot out of it. I even met the Governor-General, Quinton Bryce. It has taught me how to set myself goals and know where I want to go in the future and now I have something to aim towards over the next 5, 10, 15 years. I've been very fortunate to work with a lot of great people here at Coca-Cola, not just in the maintenance team but also through the whole site. A lot of the people that I work with here every day aren't just my work colleagues. A lot of them I see outside of work as well. In addition to my Certificate 3 apprenticeship level, I've also gone on and done a Certificate 4 in Electrotechnology and Mechanical Engineering. That involves programmable logic controllers and it also involves hydraulics, pneumatics and welding. It's important that you do give yourself a bit of spare time outside of your work and your studies as well. Uh, my way of zoning out is to try and get a round of golf in every now and again and just forget about everything for a few hours. Golf is a good form of relaxation for myself most of the time. Uh, I just find it, I'm by myself, I do it for myself and I can just chill out for a few hours. The career that I've chosen has also given me a lot of financial security. I've recently just been married, uh, bought a new car and we bought our first home. Once I finish my apprenticeship, I'd like to stay on the tools for a couple of years and keep honing in all the skills that I've learnt over the past four years and then take on some further studies and do an advanced diploma and go into mechatronics and one day hopefully become a site engineer. One thing that I would say to someone that is interested in going into a trade is just to make the most of every day and take every opportunity with both hands.